Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Dambulkar. In last videos, we have seen how to use select keyword, where keyword, or keyword, and and keyword. Right? In this video, we will see how to use in keyword and like keyword in SOQL query. Now see, what is the use of in keyword? But for in keyword, we will see what is the use of or keyword. So see, for what purpose we use or keyword? So see, when we are using or keyword, along with where keyword so see we can mention multiple condition like this see here we are checking field 1 is equal to value 1 or field 2 is equal to value 2 likewise we can mention multiple condition so we can see in this example look at this we are selecting some field names where roll number is equal to 32 or roll number is equal to 37 if we want, we can mention multiple conditions, right? Or roll number is equal to something or roll number is equal to something, right? Now, see, in this case, in this example, there are only two possible roll numbers, 32 or 37, right? But if there are 10 roll numbers, if there are 20 roll numbers, if there are 30 or 100 roll numbers, in that case, it is very difficult to write this statement again and again, right? So, in that case, how we have to mention? where roll number is equal to 32, our roll number is equal to 37, our roll number is equal to 10, our roll number is equal to 20. Likewise, we have to repeat this field name multiple times, right? To avoid that, we can use in keyword. Here you can see. So, how in keyword can be used? Here you can see. Field name, in keyword, and in round bracket, we are mentioning multiple values, like this. So, see, what is the meaning of this? Field is equal to value 1 or field is equal to value 2 or field is equal to value 3 or field is equal to value 4 like this up to value n. So, these conditions are separated by R only. Implicitly, these conditions are separated by R keyword. So, see, again I am repeating. What is the meaning of this? Field is equal to value 1 or field is equal to value 2 or field is equal to value 3 or up to field is equal to value n likewise now see look at this example now what is the meaning of this look at this in this case we are selecting records where roll number is equal to 32 or roll number is equal to 37 right so same thing see meaning of this query and this query is same. Here also we are selecting records where roll number is equal to 32 or roll number is equal to 37. Same thing we are doing here. Here also we are selecting those records where roll number is equal to 32 or roll number is equal to 37. And in next example, here you can see we are selecting records where department is equal to C or department is equal to IT. Like this. We will run this query and we will see what is the output. Now we will get this. We will click on execute button. Here you can see we got records where roll number is equal to 32 or roll number is equal to 37. So both records we got, right? Now see. Next example we will see. So I am copying this query. Okay. We will click on execute button. So here you can see. Here, we are choosing those records where department is equal to C, department is equal to C, or department is equal to IT, department is equal to IT. So, in this way, we can use in keyword. So, what is the use of in keyword? So, here, we can compare this field name with multiple values. If at least one value is matching, then that record will be shown. Next, we will see like keyword. Now, what is the use of like keyword? See like keyword is used to check whether that string contains some substring or particular string like keyword uses two wildcards one is percent symbol and another is underscore symbol see what is the meaning of this percent symbol stands for occurrence of zero or more characters and underscore symbol stands for occurrence of exactly one character now see in this example we are selecting those records where this field matches with this pattern 
Now see, some string. What is the meaning of percent symbol? Occurrence of zero or more characters. So see, followed by this string, zero or more occurrence of any characters. Here in this example. Here before string we are checking occurrence of zero or more characters. And here in third example we have this string. Before string there can be occurrence of zero or more characters. And after string there can be occurrence of zero or more characters. Now see look at this example. So here we are choosing records from the lead object where status that is a field name is matching with the this pattern. Keep in mind like keyword is used with the text only. So here you cannot compare with the number. It can be used with the text only. Here we are comparing status with this pattern. So see first should be working and after working there can be anything. Here see in second example contacted but before contacted there can be any characters and here we are looking for a status where there is a not word. So before not there can be anything and after not there can be anything. We will run this query. Let us see. I have copied this query. Now see we will run. We will click on execute button. Now here you can see we are showing those records where status matching with this pattern. right? So working followed by anything. See working followed by anything. Now see we will check second example. So I am copying this query. Now see. So where status is matching with this pattern. So it should have contacted word and before contacted word there can be any word. We are showing those records where status have word contacted and before contacted there can be any number of characters. Here you can see. See contacted and before that any number of characters. Contacted before that any number of characters. Contacted before that any number of characters. And this word should end in contacted word only. Right. We will check third example. Okay, we'll click on execute button. Now see, we are looking for those records where status have not word. And before not, there can be anything. And after not, there can be anything. Like this, see, before not, there can be anything. After not, there can be anything. So see, before not, here is open. And here, before not, there is closed, right? Here, after not, contacted. And here, after not, there is converted, right? So it is showing those records where it has word not. Before not there can be anything, after not there can be anything. And percent symbol stands for occurrence of zero or more characters. And if there is underscore, so underscore stands for exactly one character. So in this way we can use like keyword in SOPL query. And like keyword can be used with text only like this. We cannot use like keyword with numbers. We can use it with text only. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.